Today, I am visiting every single World Cup stadium in under three hours. There are eight different stadiums being used at the World Cup. This is one of them, the 974 Stadium. We're gonna be traveling to all of them. I've got three different challenges. Go to all of them in under three hours, get a photo, and do it around the world. 974 Stadium is done. On to the next. Start the timer. This is one of the more iconic stadiums. It's got a 40,000 capacity and the first game is Mexico against Poland. I'm giving this a solid eight out of 10. Very cool stadium. One down, seven to go. This is very exciting. So we are at our second stadium, the Khalifa Stadium. Now, this one is special to the England fans because our first game is here against Iran on the 21st of November. It's going to be sick. England are going to win the World Cup. We're going to win our first game right here. I'm saying 4-0. I'm buzzing for it. You know how I know England are going to win? It's got the arc. It reminds me of Wembley and we only win at Wembley, of course. And Italy are the European champions. This is actually where the Qatar national team play. I think the English fans are going to like the stadium because there's so much open space around it and literally the stadium. It's just there. Uh, we are winning our first game right here. I'm gonna give the Khalifa Stadium a seven out of 10. It's cool. It's a cool stadium. It's it's not Wembley though. All right, two down. We've got six left. We're doing this absolutely rapid now. We've already wasted so much time, but these next ones are gonna be quick. All right, we're at the third stadium. This is the Al Fumama Stadium. I think I said that right. I'm sorry if I said it wrong, but this stadium is one of the coolest ones I've ever seen. So this one is actually designed based on like local culture. So the gaffia, I think it's called, it's like a cap worn by a lot of people out here. I understand how they've done it. It looks very similar to the cap. I'll show you a picture of that and then you can decide yourself. But I'm giving this a solid nine. It is a very cool looking stadium. So the capacity of the stadium is 40,000 and the first game here is Netherlands against Senegal, which is gonna be an absolute banger of a game. We are at the fourth stadium. This is the Al Janoub Stadium. It's actually designed based on Qatar's traditional boats, like the sails. Honestly, it looks more like a spaceship. This is honestly one of the craziest stadiums I've ever seen in real life. Beautiful, 40,000 capacity. I'm giving this a very, very solid nine out of 10. That is absolutely awesome. One thing I forgot to mention about the stadium is it actually has a retractable roof. I'm pretty sure with the rules of FIFA, it's not actually allowed to be over whilst the games are being played. I could be wrong though. All right, so we've just met out with Derek, who's a sports, well, football memorabilia collector. I think that's the best way yeah. to describe you. And you actually have a pretty cool fact about this stadium, right? Yeah, so this is Junoub Stadium here. This was the first of the new stadiums for the World Cup that was finished. And also it's the game that Xavi played his last competitive game here, the Amir Cup final, which the al Sadd actually lost to Aldo Hill. But again, amazing stadium. They, they lost 4-1, right? 4-1, yeah. Losing 4-1 in your last game is not, not ideal, but I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of very cool matches at this stadium over the World Cup. The first game that's gonna be happening here are the current holders, France, against Australia. That should be an easy win for France. So far, it's actually been like ridiculously easy to travel between all these stadiums. Obviously the World Cup isn't on at the moment, so I'm assuming the traffic's gonna be a little heavier, well, a lot heavier when the World Cup's actually on. But right now, getting to all the stadiums has been super easy. Okay, so we're at the fifth stadium now. We've got three left. This is Education City Stadium, 40,000 seat uh, capacity. They actually call this one the diamond in the desert. And the first game of the knockouts is gonna be right here. Very cool stadium. Uh, you know what, I'm, I'm giving this one like a seven, a seven out of 10. It's not as cool looking as some of the other ones that we've had. Okay, so we are at the Al Rayan Stadium. This stadium is very interesting because on the outside, you see all of those like little twirly, whirly things. They're actually lights. So you can basically put the different nations flags on the edge of the stadium. Kind of like the Allianz Arena, very cool. Also, Wales will play all of their games here. More importantly, England are gonna play their last group game against Wales, could be a very important game. Fingers crossed, we absolutely smash them. I'm sure we will. Absolutely awesome stadium, 40,000 seat capacity. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. And one last thing I forgot to say is Al Rayan are gonna play their like league games here. Al Rayan are a team out here. Uh, I think at the moment they're not doing too well, 
but they were one of the best and that's where they're gonna play their games. Okay, so we've done six out of eight stadiums. We literally have like less than 30 minutes left. We're about to get to the seventh stadium and the eighth stadium is about 25 minutes to there. So we gotta be super quick. This one looks unreal though. All right, so we are at the seventh stadium, the Al Bay Stadium. Just look how crazy that looks. Another culturally designed stadium. It's an Arabian tent. Have you ever seen a stadium like that? One of the most unique stadiums I've ever seen. 60,000 capacity, absolutely awesome. This is getting a solid nine out of 10 from me because of how unique it is. Another interesting fact about this stadium that I was just told from Derek is basically the opening game is happening here. And for the first World Cup ever, the opening game isn't happening at the same stadium as the final. It's Qatar, it's different, we take it. Overall, insane stadium though. There are actually some massive games here. England against America, obviously, we're gonna absolutely destroy them in that one. There's also Spain versus Germany and one of the semi-finals. So obviously some massive games are happening right here. So they literally have a McDonald's that is designed exactly like the stadium right outside of it. Madness. We have done it. Literally look at the time. Stop. Two hours, 55 minutes. We've made it to the eighth stadium. The sales stadium right there. We made it in under three hours. Unbelievable. Every stadium, insane. Look at that. This is gonna be the final stadium. This is the biggest stadium here. And look at that, it looks insane. This one is getting a 10 out of 10. Absolutely love it.